Welcome to Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda. There's a young man in the UK who makes huge amounts of money by videoing himself eating. Basically, he eats different foods without chewing. He just puts a bit of food in his mouth and then swallows it without chewing. And uh, people basically write in and suggest uh, different kinds of foods that he will do this. They're hoping he'll eventually choke on one of them. Now, you might say, well, that's just an example of somebody acting stupidly. But this young man posts these up on TikTok and he makes tens of thousands of pounds every month. Just think about that. Somebody is making tens of thousands of pounds every single month by videoing themselves eating food without chewing, just swallowing whole lumps of food. Now, when you compare that with the salaries of what we would consider to be services that are essential to society, it becomes not just strange or weird, it, it actually becomes quite disturbing. Uh, this young man's making tens of thousands every month. In the UK, teachers earn between 30,000 and 50,000 a year. Nurses earn an average of 33,000 pounds a year, the same with teachers. An ambulance driver receives on average 22,000 pounds a year. In other words, this young man is making more money in a month than an ambulance driver makes in a year. There's something wrong in that. And the problem here is not is this, not, not, not only that somebody's earning more money than somebody else, and salaries often are unfair, and there are people who earn large salaries or who are born into rich families that have a lot of money and we don't think they do anything to deserve it. That's, that's life. Life is unfair and sometimes life is cruel to the people that we most should most value and the people who are the most hardworking. The problem is that very often in society, not only is money about having what having enough resources to buy a house or or buy a food or a car or go on holiday or stuff like that, but we often judge people and their worth based on what they earn. And therefore, I guess in some people's mindset, this young man that swallows food without chewing is many, many more times worthy and valuable than an ambulance driver, a police officer, a teacher, or a nurse. And that is a sad state of affairs. The Bible says that what we earn is not the measure of what we are worth or who we are. Jesus in Mark chapter 8, 36, spoke about people who accumulated money because they thought that was the most important thing. But he said, but what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world, but loses his soul? And ultimately, for us as Christians, the true thing that is the measure of our worth is, uh, is, is that because Jesus has died for us and because we now live for him, that at the end of our days, we will hear him say, well done, my good and faithful servant. And I believe that being able to hear those words from the lips of Jesus at the end of my life, well done, thou good and faithful servant, that is a better assessment of who I am and what my life is worth than how much money I earn. Because no matter how well I do my job in the eyes of human beings, I'm probably still going to earn a lot less than a young man who eats food without chewing it. Something that as a child I was told I should always chew my food before swallowing. You know, sometimes this applies to churches as well. Sometimes we judge the success of a church on its membership. How many people are going to the church? If it's a big church, it's a great church. If it's a small church, we think there must be something wrong with it. Or buildings. How, what kind of a building does the church have? Or even finances. What kind of financial resources does the church have? And again, we're using a totally mixed up worldly measure of success and applying it to the church, which is central and fundamental to the purposes of God, because Jesus said, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And again, the true measure of a church is that Jesus says, well done.
I pray that today we won't be sucked into the world standards of assessing success or failure or worth by what we earn or how popular we are or any of those kinds of passing things. But we may base our true value and our true success on the words of Jesus. Well done, my good and faithful servant. I invite you to join us again tomorrow for another Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda. Thank <laughs> you.